Hello and welcome to a demo of Trucker by AppScript.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you the central dispatcher and manually dispatching loads to carriers. The first thing I will do is log into my dispatcher account on the desktop application. I'm now logged into my, into my dispatcher profile on the desktop application. I will now log into my carrier app on the right hand side. I have to select my vehicle which is a pickup truck and I say confirm. So I'm now logged into my carrier app and in order to accept bookings I have to click on go online. So I'm now online and I can accept bookings using the carrier app. In the dispatcher, there are two types of bookings that can be done. The first is book now, which in effect sends out a, an on-demand booking to all the drivers who are available at this particular time. And the booking is sent to one after the other in a round robin fashion. The second type is book later, wherein a booking is scheduled for a later time and date and is dispatched at that time. I will first show you the book now feature. The customer's details are auto-filled from the database. I get the estimations of distance, fare, and price. Goods type is groceries. Dimensions is three. I can upload an image. I can either pay by myself or have the receiver pay for me. If I pay by myself, I can pay with my card or with the wallet. Now, the card is automatically pulled from the customer's database and all our card information is stored in a secure PCI database. So you don't have to worry about fraud or theft. And in case of a wallet, the customer has a credit line. So this is quite a common practice in this industry wherein every customer is given a credit line to make bookings on the application and after this particular credit line is empty or has been, been expired, the customer has to recharge his wallet. Now the limit of his credit line is called the hard limit which in this case is set to $25,000. Now beyond $25,000 a customer will not be allowed to make bookings. And at the soft limit, which is $10,000, the customer will get a notification warning him to recharge his application or else he might not be able to make the booking soon. So I will now add the booking. The booking has been confirmed. As you can see, there are a number of different ways of dispatch. First, at first, the booking goes into in dispatch, which in effect, mean, effect means it is auto dispatch. And if a, if a driver does not accept it, it will move to unassigned, which I will show you later. And in this case, I will accept the job while it is in auto dispatch. So the dispatcher gets a notification saying that the driver is on the way. And this is the latest book load on the driver app and I can see the customer's name and booking ID and as I can see the deadhead is being calculated and the dis time is being calculated. Deadhead is a distance from the driver's current location to the pickup. Now a fee can be le levied for this particular distance that the driver travels and is important in case the driver is traveling a large distance to get to his load. When the driver arrives at his pickup location, the dispatcher gets a notification. When the driver starts his trip, the dispatcher gets a notification. And from the dispatcher, if I want to see the booking, it will be in the assigned column. And I can also see the current location of the driver. which is there. 
I can see the driver reached the drop location. And the dispatcher can get a lot of information about the driver as well from the battery percentage on his phone, the device operating system, and whether the location services are on or off. Now, the location service and the battery percentage are a fraud prevention mechanism wherein if you know that a a uh, driver has gone offline and he has a high battery percentage you know that he has either turned off his location service or he is sort of pretending like his phone is dead in order to not reveal his location so after I unload I will swipe right again and as you can see that on the dispatcher portal the timeline is now complete and it gives you accurate timestamps of each status. From the drive port, driver app, I will accept, put in the receiver's signature, and complete the booking. That booking is now completed and has been moved past. So the next flow I will show you is a case where the automatic dispatch fails. Now the automatic dispatch that we have incorporated into this app is an example of automation that saves you time and money. Now while a load is in auto dispatch, the system is automatically looking for a driver for your load. Now with all automated systems, there is a risk that it will not be able to find a driver or that the system fails. In that case, the load moves from in dispatch to unassigned. Now, once it is an unassigned, the dispatcher can manually assign a driver to that load based on which driver is online. So it's a really useful feature, which is sort of a backup to the automation that we have incorporated in the app. So I will show you how that works right now. And before that, I will also explain how a booking spends a certain amount of time in the auto dispatch and then a certain amount of time in the unassigned tab after which it moves into past or assigned if a driver takes up the offer. So the amount of time that a load spends in the auto dispatch and the unassigned can be controlled from the back end in the admin panel. Let me do another booking. There we go. In this case, I will not accept the booking from my driver app. And after 2 minutes and 15 seconds, the booking will automatically go into unassigned. And from unassigned, I will be able to dispatch it to a driver of my choice who is online. When I click on the booking, I can see that the attempt count is 1, which means that the system has attempted to deliver it to this particular driver. And I get a notification saying that the attempt was not successful and the driver has not accepted the booking. Now, incorporating automation like this into the app saves you time and in the place of where 10 dispatchers were required to actually manually dispatch jobs you might just require one or two with our automated systems because a dispatcher only has to come in at a situation where the automatic dispatch or the automation fails so in this case the driver did not accept load so a dispatcher can come in and manually override the system and assign this load to a driver so this is also important in case the dispatcher calls driver and makes a deal with him saying that he has to accept this load. In, in that case, the manual dispatch option is quite useful because the dispatcher can sort of push the job to the same driver. Forty, 40 seconds to go, after which the job will move into unsigned.
Again, the two and a half minutes that the job spends in the auto dispatch can be reduced. And uh, this can be done from the admin panel or it can be increased to whatever time you want as well. As I can see, my driver is online and my driver's name is John Doe with a pickup truck. I can select my driver and say dispatch load. I get a notification saying that the driver has got the booking. And once my driver accepts it, It is now in the Assign tab and I can also get a notification saying that the driver is on the way. So I will complete the booking from my driver app. Since there is a cash booking, I get a pop-up on the carrier app saying that I have to collect cash from the receiver. I say OK. And after I have unloaded, I swipe right. I get the invoice where I can add in an extra fee for toll and handling charges. After confirmation, I get a notification on the dispatcher panel again. And here I need the receiver sig signature. And now the load is complete. So I can see the details of my completed load. I can see the timeline. I can see the vehicle. I can see the details of the driver. And all of this is in the past bookings column. And on the driver app, the driver has a wallet with a hard limit and a soft limit. So the hard limit basically denotes the maximum amount of cash that the driver can have in his hand at any point of time. Basically, after the amount of cash that the driver has goes above the hard limit, he will not be able to receive bookings any further. And as you remember, the first booking was done with the wallet and the second booking was done with the card. So in case of the first booking, the driver app owes the driver money and in case of the second booking the driver owes the app money because the booking was done with the card and the final settlement is shown as the driver's wallet balance which indicates the amount of money the driver has with him in cash now let's say I recharge the wallet I have to first select the card and then I recharge the wallet for $200 There we go. The wallet balance has increased to 349. So that's how the driver recharges his wallet. In effect, paying the app back. So that will be the end of the video on the dispatcher. I will now log out from both the applications. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you for watching our videos on the dispatcher and the carrier app.